Okay, today I'm going to show you how to put together your new 24 volt power box, right? This is a box that I sell at Jack 35 that comes pre-assembled like this, but you have to load your own cells. So along with this box, what you're gonna need is gonna be 168 cells. These could be uh, any 18650s, right? But the better the quality of the 18650s, well, the better the battery box that you're gonna be able to make. On this case, what we're gonna use is gonna be uh, INR18650 M36. These are premium cells that I sell on the website. Uh, 3,500 milliamp power. So these will make, uh, 168 of these will make about almost two kilowatt hours. It's above two kilowatt hours uh, battery system on here at 24 volts, right? And so you will need a couple of tools. You will need six millimeter and a seven millimeter socket. And then you're going to need a screwdriver. In this case, I'm going to use a uh, Makita drill. So let's, let's put this together. Let's take it apart, load the cells, then put it back together. All right, here we go, let's start. Of course, you guys know that these battery boxes are reclaimed. These are used, so they are going to be scuffed up. They're not all gonna be 100% pretty. Some of them are, like this one here. Seems to be pretty, not too bad. Well, it's got some scratches in here and there and stuff, right? So yours uh, is gonna have signs of, uh, of, of wear and tear, right? Because we have taking these boxes from another project and then made them into battery boxes, right? Because they are so awesome. So let's start the process. The first thing you gotta do is you gotta take off the front thing here. You gotta take off the front uh, black plastic. So you take the two screws from the edges, all right? This one. Then we take these two from the front. Here we go. So then we pull that off, but of course that one has a cable. So you can't really completely take it off because, well, it's tether. But the reason you're gonna do that is because now you're gonna remove these two screws here. Right, and then you're gonna remove the top ones. You're basically gonna remove all of them around here on the front. There we go. So now we got the bottom ones. And of course be careful not to be too rough on this cable. Okay, so once we pull this off, we just pulled off this cable. It's an XT90 connector that was inside, right? So we pulled it off. So what we can do now is we can put this whole assembly, this whole assembly right here, we can put it aside. We will need it at the end, but for now, Here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna look at your box from the front and then you're gonna look to see where the uh, ribbon connectors are. Whichever side the ribbon connectors on this side happens to be right there. You can see them, right? You see them right there, all right? So you, we're gonna take this side and we're gonna start by taking all the screws off of this side from the bottom. Next is going to be the two on the back. Next, the ones on the top. And now we're ready to move that side of the box. Look at that. Now you have exposed that side of this box here. Look at that. Okay, so next, what we got to do is we got to take the top portion, the top plate. We'll 
put that aside. And now you have exposed the entire, you have exposed the internals, right? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start by disconnecting all the XT60 connectors, right? XT60 connectors. Then I'm gonna take these ribbon connectors and take them off. Here we go. We'll take this ribbon connector, we'll put it off to the side. And then now individually, so now you're gonna take the your number seven socket. And now what we're gonna start doing is going, there's five stacks of boards here, and you're gonna pick one to go first. Let's pick this one. And what you're gonna start doing is use your seven, and you're gonna remove the, um, these are nylon standoffs and they have four on the top so you remove four of those okay so now you can remove the first board now here's the first board put that over there we'll disconnect the ribbon now you're going to use the 732nd uh, socket so we take the four uh, brass standoffs off of the second board. Then you remove the second board. Then you lay it on the table. Then you repeat this step. Now that we've taken four of the boards off, we've left the last one in there. Now what you're gonna do, if you have, and you're gonna be using use reclaim cells, then what you must do is you have to make sure that your cells that you're gonna use to pre-populate this right here, they're going to have to be around the same voltage and the same capacity. As closely as possible as you can, you're gonna have to do this, right? It's okay if you're gonna do, you know, 2200 milliamp hours in this board, and then the next one's gonna be 2250, 2300 milliamp hours, it's okay. But at least on the same boards here, you have to keep them all as closely matched as possible. So in this case, they are brand new cells, so we don't have to do a lot of testing because these are high quality premium cells, and so we're just going to populate them here. But if you're using use reclaim cells, then you have to do some work to get the cells to know what you're putting in here. Because if you put cells that are too degraded, too far apart, if you don't pay attention, then this battery here is, it's gonna work for a while, but it's not gonna last you a very long time. So the more closely matched the cells are, then the better this battery, and the longer this battery is gonna function and it's gonna last, right? So now that we have these cells, now we're gonna start populating. So you populate the first board Right, and then we populate all these other ones and then we stack them on there. So let's do that now. So remember positive, negative, the boards are marked positive and negative. Here's a thing that is very, very helpful is to get yourself one of these guys. It's called a battery, bat, battery go BG-8S and it's just a battery meter. What it will allow you to do is to connect it to any board that you're populating and as you are populating it, it will show you the voltage of each cell, just in case you miss something, right? Here we go. Here's the first one, right? This is the first two cells. It, it needs two cells to, to power up. Here we go, number three, four, six, seven. There we go. So now that you pre-populated that board, Let's do all the other ones. Whoa. You gotta be extra cautious on these ones because these are made out of plastic nylon plastic so those break even easier so do not over tighten them all right so that same process that we did here now we got to repeat it and do it to these other four columns <laughs>
right now that we finished now the last thing to do is to reconnect all the ribbon connectors right so to do that it's probably best to put this on its side now of course this is much heavier now Next is gonna be connecting the XT60s. So this, the very far upper left, connects to the one at the bottom here. Then the next one connects there. Then the next one connects there. Then the next one connects there. There we go. That's how you end up with that look there. Next, we reconnect this ribbon assembly here. Next, we put the top back on. Next, we put the front. Let's check to see that the meter works. Here we go, and the meter works. It's showing a little bit less than 50, like 40%, because these batteries, brand new, they ship at 30% state of charge, so that's 30%. So now that that's connected and it's working, we can install it. Finally, we put the side piece back on. All right, here is an example of uh, a power wall using the power box, right? It's got uh, a bunch of these, about 36 kilowatt hours. 18 of these boxes, uh, two kilowatt hours each. So you do the math over 30, it's so around 36 kilowatt hours. I'm currently charging them. Um, but this charger is gonna take a long time because, you know, obviously one, this is a one kilowatt charger. Um, it's charging at 17 amps. It's at 25 volts. So it's right at nominal voltage right now. So it's gonna take quite a, quite a while to get this charge. But uh, there you go. All right, hey, I wanna thank you for watching. And here is the good news. If you're interested in winning this battery, I'm giving it away. I'm picking a random comment on this video. So if you wanna enter to win, just share and comment on this video. All right, good luck.